Hi everyone, this is Nivedita here. Hope you all enjoyed our previous video that is about gross motor activity. Today's topic is very sensitive and very very important topic that is uh, good touch and bad touch. Nowadays, uh, you can see many cases like a child abuse and child sexual assault. This happens because kids are not aware of what's happening to them. So this is our responsibility to teach the kid of uh, what is appropriate and inappropriate touch so that they will be aware of a bad deeds happening to them and uh, uh, they should know they are the owner of their body so we need to teach them how to protect uh, them from the strangers and what are the dangers that will happen if they are not aware of these so we have attached some uh, slides here so that you can get some tips of how to educate them and how to protect themselves and how to mingle with the kids. So I hope this will be very helpful for you. Come, we'll see the video now. A good touch that cares for them, that is necessary for their health or safety or makes them feel safe or is fun. The touch that makes you uncomfortable or makes you scared or hurt you or the bad touch if anybody touches your head face hands legs neck I need not to worry because these are good touch if anybody kiss or touch you on lips chest between legs thighs and bum you need to report immediately to the parents say no to these kind of activities if anybody forces or hurts you need to scream at that moment touch that makes you feel nervous or scared don't hide that inform your parents immediately if anybody touches your private parts are told to keep it as a secret say no to them and don't go to the person again now we'll see what are the good and safe touch. The hugs and kisses from the parents and grandparents shows their love and care towards you. So it's a good touch. If your teacher pats you for your good work, that is also a good touch. Receiving friendly hugs, shaking hands or giving high five from your friend is also a good and safe touch. If a doctor touches you for checkup, it's a safe touch. Tips to stay safe. Don't go out alone. While playing outside, be under elders' assistance. Don't go to neighbor's house who stay alone. Don't play the game which your neighbor forces you to keep it a secret. Don't allow any stranger to kiss you on your private parts. Don't eat any food items given by a stranger. Your body belongs to you, not for the stranger. Points to be noticed by parents. Sudden behavioral change, mood swing, promiscuity, unusual sexual knowledge, unexplained gift, behaviors of self-harming, regressive behavior. If you have noticed any kind of these, kindly talk to them without any ignorance. I hope you got some idea about how to educate your kid about good touch and bad touch and the tips to protect them. Uh, so this is our responsibility to protect our kids and uh, create a good uh, human by teaching them good and bad things. Uh, so please uh, parents and teacher, please educate this good touch and bad touch in home and also in school uh, so that they will be aware and then uh, be friendly with them so that they won't hide anything uh, so give some space for the kids and be friendly with them um, i hope you all enjoy this video uh, kindly like and subscribe and do share this video thank you we'll see you on next video